Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to welcome the launch of the report Action on Antimicrobial Resistance at Country Level. This report shows the tremendous progress that the world is making towards tackling antimicrobial resistance. At least 100 countries now have a national action plan in place, and at least 50 additional countries have plans under development. Many countries have already taken key actions, such as setting up surveillance systems and regulating the use of antimicrobials in human and animal health. We still have a long way to go, though. One in five countries does not have a policy to regulate the safety of antimicrobials or to guide their sale or use. This means that many people are buying unregulated medicines in places such as street markets with no limits on how they're used. This puts human and animal health at risk and contributes to the development of antimicrobial resistance. Working together is the only way to avoid the huge human, social, economic, and environmental costs of antimicrobial resistance. WHO continues to strengthen work with our partners, FAO and OIE, and we commit to support countries to develop and implement their national action plans on antimicrobial resistance. Addressing antimicrobial resistance is a key priority for WHO. I look forward to continuing working with all of you to combat this threat to global health and development. I thank you.